Newton's first law of motion. Go. Newton's first law, also known as the law of inertia, states that objects at rest tend to stay at rest, and objects in motion tend to stay in motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. In this example, the ball will be the object in motion, and the ground will be the unbalanced force. Now in this example, the ball will be the object of motion and Peyton's hand will be the unbalanced force. Mountain Mahas! <laughs> These next two examples also show someone's hand being the unbalanced force that stops the object in motion. Mountain Mahas! <laughs> Mountain Mahas. <laughs> Here we see another example of the ball being the object in motion and the net and the floor being the unbalanced force that brings the object in motion to a stop. Yeah. Here we see an object in motion being abruptly stopped, but quickly put back into motion and then being stopped by an unbalanced force at the end. Now I am. In this example, number 73 in blue would be the example of the object in motion, and number 15 circled in white would be the unbalanced force. Here we see another football example of an object in motion being stopped by an unbalanced force, which is Pate. For this clip, we're going to show you an example of the second part of Newton's first law. Objects at rest tend to stay at rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. The object at rest being number 80 in white and the unbalanced force being number 15. In this example, Turner is the object in motion, but nothing brings him to a stop. And as we know, objects in motion tend to stay in motion until acted upon by an unbalanced force. What does happen to get brought to a stop, though, is this coach's clipboard. Oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I don't have a video tape in yet. Alright, now it's going. Do it again. <laughs> 